and welcome back. I'm in the middle of doing a head gasket job and this particular car has a lot of RTV silicone on it. So I want to find an easy method for removing it. Now some of the common ways of doing it is using a razor blade, a wire brush, a pick or even some of these uh, 3M bristle sanding discs. Now the white ones claim to be good for aluminum. Do not try using any of the other colors. They're way too aggressive. Here I have a portion of the timing cover and I've already gone ahead and cleaned this off very well. I even used brake parts cleaner to make sure there was no type of residue, no oil or anything like that. So here I'm going to put two uh, different sections of RTV on the right and the left. And the right side is actually going to get WD-40 and we're going to see how well that's going to work at removing the RTV. Since my RTV was busted open I just went ahead and put it in a plastic bag. So here I'm going to apply the first treatment of WD-40 to the right side. Now I let this sit for a few hours but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to. It's just this is how soon I could get back to it. Many hours later. The purpose of this video is just to help as many people as we can. So if you know a great method for removing silicone just go ahead and leave it right there in the comment section. Okay, so there was nothing special about the left side as far as using a blade on it. It felt pretty normal. It's almost like trying to run a blade through a very thin layer of rubber. If you messed with any type of silicone, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But on the right side here, there was a noticeable difference. Now, I'm aware that the WD-40 was just sitting on the surface, but it seems to be cutting a lot smoother, a lot easier. It's like the, the blade just kind of glides right through it. It doesn't have that thick rubber consistency anymore. Now I'm trying to be as consistent as I can as far as picking on each side. But clearly on the right side here you can see that the RTV is just more forgiving like it doesn't want to stick to the metal as much as the left side does. So it does seem like the WD-40 is working. Now that the RTV is sliced open, we're going to go ahead and give it a second treatment of WD-40 and just really let it penetrate. Okay, so we used a wire brush and I even cleaned it up just a little bit more with a paper towel. And I want to say that I went at the left side a little bit more aggressive than I did on the right side. And as you can see, the results are right here. So clearly the RTV is kind of breaking down with the WD-40. Even if you're not impressed with the results and you think they kind of look similar, you have to take into consideration the amount of work that it took to remove the RTV. And on the side that was treated with the WD-40, it was much easier to remove it and I have no problems at all. So, I hope you liked the video. If it helped you, give it a thumbs up. And like always, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.